You okay? Let me help you up. Been waiting in the car for a couple of minutes. Okay. Traded places. Now I'm the punctual professional and you're the target time waster. What have you done to your head? Nothing. I just slipped. We were supposed to start at nine o'clock sharp. He's yes. been waiting over an hour. Well, then let's not keep him waiting any longer. Board of concern, the Centre of Excellence funding is on hold for the no, moment. No, 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 with respect, Robert. If this ED is to continue to meet the CCE criteria, we need those... Funds. And you'll get them just as soon as you can prove this department merits them. We've already jumped through the hoops. Yes. And then your anthrax disaster struck. We're getting off the point. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any way that we can release those funds? The board have asked me to review the department. <laughs> They've asked me to spend a day here in the ED next week. First-hand assessment. Well, what about today? No, oh, no, I'm not sure. I have other appointments. Robert, oh, listen to me. I believe this ED to be the very best in the country at the moment. So call your PA and cancel your appointments. I want to see the amount of traffic we're seeing. In fact, last month, our breach rate was down to 4%. But there's still more we could be doing. Dedicated MRI. Thank you. CT. I can't knock your ambition. And of course, staffing is paramount. This is Dr. Hanno, one of our most experienced practitioners. You see, I think funding is important because it's not just about finding new people, it's about retaining uh, the ones that we already have. Well, but would you mind um, shadowing Dr. Hanno for a while, getting a feel for the front line as to her? Uh, is that really necessary? Yes. First hand experience, remember? Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, Lansing a boil. Must be a lucky day. Follow me. So you could you could have a walk. First day back. Hmm? Don't seem very happy about it. I'm not sure it was a very good idea. It's not easy, I know. Every once in a while we all have to ask ourselves the same question. What the hell am I doing here? Even me. I'll tell you something, Dr. Reed. You will not find the answers by hiding in hospital toilets. His name is... Uh, uh, breathing's very laboured and his rest rate is high. Yeah. Looks like he could be running a fever. Well, what's wrong with him? You just have a little listen to your chest, OK? Right. Let's get ready to lift him forward. Please. No. That's it. Get further up. Good, thank you. Yeah, I'm picking up fine crepitations. OK. The problem is in his lungs. Right, let's get some blood sent off, and I want another chest x-ray, please. Well, Dad's not suffering from an illness or infection recently, has he? Well, you know, he's been coughing a lot like headaches. It's looking after our Lisa that takes it out of him. Who's Lisa? Need to be with your sister. Reed. Sorry, I'll stay with you, Dad. Doctor. Mr. Dennis looks after his comatose daughter. Right. And, uh, Dr. Reed. Sorry, I'll Dad. Get her out of there. I don't want to see this. I'll be fine. Look after Lisa. Okay. I'll help you, Thank you. Um, we've managed to stabilise his breathing for now, and we've given him paracetamol for the fever. Is it still high? Yes, and the pulse rate is high as well. Yeah, that's not good. Upper lobe cavitating lesions, highlight adenopathy. Yeah, and that together with the unproductive coughing and the fever, we'll have to do blood yes, to I confirm. Can get the message, Doctor Reed. Yes, Mr. Dennis, your chest X-ray doesn't appear to be normal now. We can't confirm anything, but it could be that we're looking at pulmonary TB. Have you been exposed to anyone recently who may have the condition? Well, I don't get out that much. Well, we need to uh, start treatment, and it could be a long process. Well, what about Lisa? I need to take care of her. I'm afraid you'll just have to take care for yourself for a while. No, no, you don't understand. I need to be with her more than ever now. You see, she woke up today. <laughs> 